Hi, I'm Councilmember Lauren Tomachoff, and I represent the residents of the Choya District located in the northern part of Glendale. I want to take you back to the month of May when the City of Glendale hosted the fourth grade students of Sierra Verde on a tour of City Hall. This tour was the result of a second grade class from Sierra Verde petitioning the city to not sell the library. There was a proposed sale of the Foothills Library. I visited the second grade class to thank them for participating in their local city government. From that experience, a tour was arranged for the fourth grade students who at that time were learning about how local government works. So come along as we take a tour of your city hall. Welcome. Welcome to City Hall. Good morning. Good morning, Sierra Verde fourth grade and welcome to City Hall. We're so happy you're here this morning. I'm Lauren Tomachoff. I'm the council person for the Choya district, which is where your school is located. Glendale has six districts, so we have six different council members that serve the citizens of each district. Your school is in the Choya district, and so your parents vote for the, when they vote, they vote for the council person for the Choya district, and then everybody in the city gets to vote for the mayor. That's how the city's broken up. This is where we do, this, do the city business. When we have meetings, we have the city manager, the city attorney, the assistant city manager, the council sits up here, the mayor sits right in the middle, uh, right behind the city emblem, and then the city clerk sits over here and keeps records of everything, every word that's being said during the meeting. That all happens in here. Uh, we vote every, the second and fourth Tuesday of the month, and on the first and third Tuesdays of the month, we have workshops downstairs where we, where we have like a working meeting where we don't vote, we just work on, on different issues. We have all the department heads here, we have the chief of police here. You're gonna to get to meet a lot of people that work really hard to make Glendale a good place and a safe place for you to live. There's lots, of, lots and lots of things that have to happen to make the city run. People have to pick up your trash, they have to make sure there's water when you turn on the faucet. There's all kinds of things that have to happen in the city to make the city a, a good place for you to live. I'm gonna introduce uh, Mayor Wires to come and talk to you for a few minutes, and then we're gonna meet the rest of the council that's here this morning, and then some uh, uh, department heads from the city of Glendale. So Mayor Wires, would you like to come up? Uh, I want to first of all welcome everybody here. Uh, what uh, Councilmember Tomachoff was doing, I think, is just an awesome thing. Uh, you know, typically I try to go to schools as many as I can every year, and I probably go on average of probably 40 or 50 schools each year uh, throughout the year. And uh, she makes this a lot more convenient when you guys come to us. Plus, you get a chance to learn a little bit more about what we do in the, in the chambers and. Uh, get a chance to meet with, with, with more of the city officials. So this is really exciting to me. I'm guessing by looking at most of you, you must be at least sixth graders? Four, four, wow, you guys have been like eating your Wheaties, haven't you? Yeah. How many times do you work here? How many times do I work here? I, uh, you know, I love my job. I, I, I can tell you I love my job. Would I do it for free? No, because I have bills I have to pay. If I could do it and didn't have to be paid and still pay all my bills, I probably would do it for free. I truly love what I do. So uh, I, I work seven days a week, and, and I'm not kidding you when I say that. I work seven days a week. I was at a meeting last night until 9.30. I was at a meeting this morning at a quarter to seven. Uh, so this is already my third event this morning, and we're just now 10 o'clock. Uh, I love what I do, and that's representing the citizens, trying to make certain, and Councilmember Tomachoff's job is the same as mine. Uh, our job is to try to make your lives better, give you the services that you require, that you need, uh, and whatever we can do to make things better for our citizens, that should be our number one priority. I know it certainly is mine, and by everybody being here today, I'm, I'm sure that it's hers too. She, she's a newly elected council member, and I gotta tell you, I'm tickled pink that we got her. She's really great. How about you, sir, in the red? Um, is it fun being there? It's awesome. It is, it's awesome. I, excellent question. I've been mayor now coming up on two and a half years that I've been uh, sworn in. Uh, I served eight years in the Arizona House of Representatives before this, 
and uh, I chaired military affairs and public safety. I chaired natural resources before that. In my final two years, I was rules chairman. How long do you serve? Excellent question. Uh, we do not have term limits here. To answer your question first, our terms are for four years. In Glendale, we don't have term limits per se, but our term limits really come down to all the adults sitting in here and all of you kids when you become adults and start voting. That's when term limits really, I think, are most important. When the voters get out and say, enough's enough, we want somebody new, or we love what you're doing, we want you to stay. That's the true term limits, and that's where our election cycle was set up and why it was set up. We have, we have two other council members here that I'd like to introduce you to. We have council member Bart Turner uh, from the Barrel District. Bart, would you like to come down and say good morning to the fourth graders? You may be wondering how does one become a council member, and uh, the short answer is you have to get elected to it, and any citizen of Glendale 18 years or older has the right to run for city council. But there's a lot more to it than that. You need to... You need to do the work ahead of time that makes you be the kind of person that your, your, the residents in your district would want to have you represent them. And it actually can start even as early as where you are right now in your lives. Thank you, Bart. Councilman Turner. Uh, we have another councilman here, uh, council member Ian Hugh from the Cactus District. Ian, would you like to come say good morning to the fourth graders? And we, we have a great mayor and a great Glendale City Council, and we work for the citizens of Glendale like Council Member Turner was talking about, I think all of us um, in grade school and through high school and throughout our life have been in, active in clubs and different activities just like you guys are. And I'm glad you're all here to, to see City Hall and I um, hope you get to go upstairs and see the mayor's office and have fun here today. Thank you. Um, we also have some directors from our departments here this morning and if uh, the ones that are willing to speak and introduce themselves to the students, if you'd like to come forward and just tell, <laughs> come on down. Come on down and just introduce yourself to the students and tell them a little bit about what you do. But they're all here to tell you what they do. <laughs> we'll start. How many, how many of you like libraries? How many like the library? How many like parks? This is Eric Strunk. He's the director of community services. He oversees, among other things, our libraries and parks. Eric, then if you just want to... Let the next person step up. Sure. Thank you, Council Member. So there's about 100, 120 of you in the room today, and there's about 236,000, 238,000 people who live in Glendale. And one of the things I do for those people is I work with a city manager, and I work for the, the, the mayor and council, and I work for you, and I oversee the parks and recreation, the library, and, and human services. Good morning, my name is Sam McAllen. I'm the Development Services Director. I'll be very brief with you. I've got three different divisions that are um, under me. We've got our Planning Division, our Building Safety Division, and our Code Compliance Division. Water. I'm the Director of the Water Services Department here in the City of Glendale, and we have over 200 people that work very hard every day to provide you plenty of clean water. Good morning, everybody. My name is David Beard. I'm the City Engineer in Glendale. I have about 25 people in, in my department and we handle five things there's uh, the construction of sewer sewer lines water lines paving drainage and sidewalks that's another thing that the finance department does is we uh, pay all of the employees and all of the vendors who provide services to the city and services to you we enjoy what we do and if you like uh, either counting money or working with computers, then think about a career in the future uh, working for a city or uh, the local government working in finance or technology. Hi everybody, I'm the city clerk and if you think about how big this city is and how many papers there must be, documents all over, legal documents, well we're the ones that organize them and make sure that the things that are important are kept. My name is Debbie Black. You know what I do. I'm the, I'm the police chief. Uh, the police department is 540 men and women. Uh, we have 425 police officers and everybody else uh, supports the work of the police officers and we are responsible for keeping our city safe, keeping all of you safe. Do you have a student handbook of rules and regulations and no running, no chewing gum? Well, one of our main goals is to ensure that if I was working at your school, that this, the, the school was complying with the student handbook. 
is I work with everybody that you see that's come through here. The police chief and the fire chief's not here, but, but all the directors, the water services director, the auditor, I work with all of them to make sure that they get their employees uh, hired, that they get their jobs filled. So I have kids about your age, two of them, and they set the rules for things that I need to do at work, and there's two things. Help the jobs and, and companies that are here to prosper and hire more people, and go find new companies and business and investments to come in so that there's new companies that join the lineup. And so my two boys have a lot to say about that. And there are a couple companies here that um, they really, really wanted to be in Glendale. And I'll give you the first one. I'll let you guess. Um, so they said, look, I'm tired of driving really far to the East Valley. I can't find anywhere to go to have a birthday party and jump on a trampoline. So I said, I'm on it. We'll go find something. We'll go get it. And uh, that business is Jump Street on Bell. And so it's important because those, that creates opportunities for bright smiles for kids and lots of revenue that goes into the folks that collect the money here. That was Vicki Rios, and she appreciates that. And then the mayor and council uses the revenue and distributes among us all department heads so we can provide the services. And the second one, if you guys don't know, is Dave and Buster's is under construction at Westgate. So you don't have to go across the 101 that way anymore. You just dive south and you're there in 10 minutes. And so that's some of the stuff that we get a chance to do. We have the best job in the city despite the guns and the fire trucks. The truth is we have the most fun. But as the city attorney, I work directly for the city council. And then I support some wonderful people, and you've already met them in terms of department heads, with regards to their jobs, making sure that what they do is in accordance with the law. We also have what's called public information office. It sounds like a geeky government term for really the people who talk to the media because sometimes we have reporters who want to do stories on things that are happening here in Glendale. So the question was, if you didn't hear it, do we have a lot of hard cases, a lot of things that are challenging for the police department? And on a daily basis, police officers are doing things that um, are very tragic, are very um, difficult. Are you going to take us down the library? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's me. <laughs> uh, uh, the answer is no. No, no we're not going to take down the library. So. What's it like at a meeting? Uh, some of them are really great. Some of them are really hard. Uh, Why doesn't Glendale recycle glass? I think because it costs us more than what we get out of it, and we haven't figured out a way to make money at it, or at least break even at it. Is that correct? Sounds good. That's <laughs> <laughs> I got that directly from them. <laughs> Don't we have a wonderful staff? We are so blessed to have so many good employees in the city of Glendale that want to serve the citizens of Glendale. I thought it was kind of interesting to know that they did all the like pipe cleaning, sidewalk fixing, and um, all the cool sewage stuff. And yeah, all the people told us what jobs they had and where the mayor talked a little bit. 